Good morning. It's Friday, April 3rd, 2020. Well, what do we figure, Cindy? It's about one month into this uh, stay-at-home thing. It's getting real, because as of midnight, we went to bed in our hammocks last night, as you saw some video, some still pictures, uh, where the state was still not uh, in a lockdown, or stay-at-home. Yeah, for your own good. But um, we woke up this morning, and the governor's thing uh, to stay at home is taking full effect. However, it's already an uproar because he kind of said it's okay for churches to meet on Sunday. Well, we feel very strongly both ways about that, of course. Uh, we're children of science. We understand this virus is passed by close contact to those who are infected. Uh, but cancel church? Well, could you have church and... Be safe about it. Social distance. I know athletes were still working out and keeping their distance. Saw it firsthand. That one morning, Cindy over at uh, the Lutheran Church, a group of about 15 people in a parking lot, with plenty of distance and doing their workout. I thought, great. So I'm not going to get into that debate about churches. If they do it responsibly, um, it's getting harder and harder to do. That's yeah, one thing. Which leads us to what's going to go on for us on this this weekend with all the hoopla and all the uproar. It's Palm Sunday, folks. We're going to have communion virtually right here on the, in the front yard at our house and broadcast that for our people at Cloverleaf or anybody who'd like to join. That's the beauty of online, live, interactive, because we'll see who, who's joining us and we'll just look forward to that and and easter sunday a week from sunday so we'll have a sunrise service out in in the backyard we need subscribers to the youtube it's uh you need a thousand subscribers to be live and you know it's crazy enough but there's a few of our seniors at cloverleaf who don't do facebook well god bless them but they do youtube uh they can still take a look it's just a slight delay at our live broadcast because they're just posting them up to YouTube after we do the Facebook Live. But it'd be nice if we could do YouTube Live so we're looking for subscribers and I know to have subscribers you got to have content. So here's your content for today. Hebrews 12 verse 2. We must never stop looking to Jesus. Hebrews 12 2. Yeah, it's not the only thing we can do. There's a bunch of stuff we've got to do in, in the face of this crisis. But if you count yourself a Christ follower, if you're wearing that cross on your neck or in your earrings or, or, or that cross on the wall at the house, I, you're a Christ follower, so don't stop looking to Jesus. And I went to Matthew chapter 5 and started to look at the uh, Beatitudes once again for the first time with fresh eyes eyes looking at uh, matthew 5 matthew chapter 5 red letters kind of looking at with with a fresh soul and heart and, and take a look at what what jesus says hebrews 12 2 never stop looking to jesus cindy say a word or two as you're doing your um stay at home needlework you're sewing you're stitching about this weekend's uh uh, communion service. Oh, was... I got to my, turn my sewing table into a communion table, and and then uh, we'll have it set up right here if any the neighbors care to join us. We'll make sure that they keep their social distance, and uh, I think it'll be good. I'm reading Ephesians. If anyone's interested in what I'm reading, I'd love to hear what you're reading. If you want to. Send that to us. Private message me. Give us a call. Love to hear what's going on in your scriptural journey. And uh, keep busy. I've finished one project. This is another project I'm working on. My cushions for my rockers that Aunt Doris gave us a long time ago. Anyway, we love you guys and uh, stay safe. I'm not going to tell you to wash your hands because you already know to do that. So, bye. So, just a brief word again about uh, subscribing to our 